it would appear that there's some sort of river rescue getting ready to take place. The rescue boat, Harrisburg's jet boat, they just put in here at City Island. They got a, a fire department vehicle staging down at the outflow um, just below the low head dam. This is a video I didn't want to make, and uh, I want to first start off and, and offer my sincerest condolences um, to the family and friends of the individual who, who lost his life tragically on the 13th of April down at the Dock Street Dam. Um, I don't personally know him. Uh, I, I probably do personally know a few of his friends, but um, but yeah, it's a uh, it was a, a sad situation, and <clears throat> I want to lead off with the fact that this video will never be monetized. This video is not intended to be. Uh, a money gen generating thing. I'm not trying to sell anything. Um, I'm really trying to cut to keep people from from. I'm really trying to keep this from happening again. Um, the Dock Street Dam is dangerous. There's no other way around it. it. It's it's one of the most dangerous places on the entire river. Um, you know, it, the hydraulics of it, the, the, the setup of it, you know, it's, it's not designed for people to be in, around, near, um, and, and to be honest, it, it's not well marked, um, you know, in this situation, um, in this situation on the 13th, I don't think it would have mattered if it was well marked, um, from what I'm understanding, but, you know, what I want to talk about is is preparing, the preparation aspect, the understanding where you're going, looking at maps, you know, checking the obvious danger areas. When you're fishing a river system and the water is moving, it's going to continue moving regardless of what you try to do while you're out there it's 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 a it's a moving body of water and it's going to keep going the direction that it wants to go and if you get in its way it's going to move you the direction that it wants you to go unless unless you have certain skill sets that you can navigate it um you know understand that rivers are in a lot of ways more dangerous than lakes um, it starts well before you get on the, on the water. Make sure your equipment's good. Make sure your boat is legal and up to par and, you know, floats and make sure your motor works and make sure you have an anchor. Um, make sure you're wearing your life jacket. <clears throat> It's important that we do these things prior to getting on the water because then, you know, you're prepared for the unexpected. Um, you know, it, if you have an anchor, you can throw it out. And, and in a lot of cases, you can stop yourself from maybe going into a bad situation if you have an equipment failure. Um, if you checked your motor and, you know, did the necessary maintenance and upkeep on your motor, you know, your motor is going to be more reliable whenever it comes time to use it. Um, you know, doing studying the body of water that you're going to fish, uh, you know, you you can identify danger areas by looking at a map in a lot of cases. Um but we have got to start as a as an 
angling and recreational boating community, we have got to start being more responsible for what we're going to be doing when we go out on the water. Um, the Dock Street Dam. Dock Street Dam has taken the lives of uh, I think it's somewhere around 30 to 40 people in its existence. Um, that may not seem like a large number, but that's a large enough number. The, that number needs to not increase anymore. Um, City of Harrisburg does not put buoys out in the cold months uh, when, when there's high water expected because those buoys will get moved by the high water. They'll get moved by ice shift. Um, they'll get moved, and and what you don't want is to have a buoy that's you know doesn't give you enough time or is in the wrong place because then you're you're not achieving anything by doing that. Um, that can be a more dangerous situation than the buoys being out there in a lot of cases. Um, but I've seen in my short time here fishing this river. I've seen pure negligence out there. Um, I've seen boats intentionally fishing the area right above the dam. I've seen kayakers literally pedaling across the top side of the dam. I saw that last last year in the Hobie tournament. Um, it is inexcusable to circumvent or just ignore those safety precaution measures of you know the 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 buoys and and you know the law you cannot be within 200 feet upstream of a low head dam you also cannot be within 100 feet downstream of a low head dam the way that that hydraulic works is it comes down over the top of the dam and goes straight down to the water goes straight down to the bottom of the river and it creates a circle because it hits the bottom and it kicks out and comes up and it churns and churns and churns and if you get caught in that it churns you that's why they're so dangerous um, you can't get out of that dam out of that hydraulic you can't you can't get out of it until either the river lets you out somebody rescues you hopefully in enough time or you know the the part the one of the things that's the hardest is is that you can't swim up to try to get out of it if you're swimming up it's going to push you up and pull you back down and push you up and pull you back down um, you have to swim down towards the bottom, which is, I mean, goes completely against what your natural instinct is going to be, but you have to swim down towards the bottom and out. That is the only way to, to get out of there. And even then, that's going to be difficult. I have not tried it. I'm not going to try it if I can help it. Um, but that's that's the way to, to do that, to get out of that. Um, As a community, we need to be aware and we need to take this unfortunate, tragic incident and we need to treat it as a learning experience, as an awareness thing um, to make sure that it doesn't continue to happen. And it's not just the Dock Street Dam, it's any low head dam, it's any you know, significant danger area on the river. Um, you can see them all up and down the river if you look at Google Maps. But we've got to be better at, as a community at, at, at this because we can't keep dying and we can't keep putting the rescuers in danger and, you know, we can't keep taking unnecessary risks So, um, 
I want to say thank you to the guys from Harrisburg area, um, both the city and surrounding jurisdiction, uh, you know, fire and rescue teams that responded out there and to, you know, to, to make one recovery. Um, the boater who was close that, you know, took the risk of getting up there and, and rescuing the one man, um, you know, bravo to, to those souls. <clears throat> um, and I'm grateful that the one, one gentleman did make it out alive. Um, this video will never make monetization. This video will never be used as a way for me to make money. Um, it's going to be, I mean, it's going to be a clickbait title and I'm on, and, and I'm sorry for that, but the only way to get people to watch it is, is to put that there. That's the unfortunate algorithm of you, of YouTube. Um, if you want people to watch your video and get your message, it has to be something that causes controversy. So I struggled. I struggled with the idea of producing this video because I don't want to be insensitive to the family um, and friends of this individual. But this video needs to be made. Um, videos like this need to be made. It's a it's a call to action to for people to to be responsible for what they're getting ready to do. And, and to be safe out there on the water because I personally and I know every other angler in this community does not want to see people continue to die from these low head dams. So please, I hope you watched and learned something here. And uh, book ended it with a couple of fish catches. That way, it at least wasn't my boring monotone voice the entire time. So thank you for watching. And hopefully, uh, hopefully you learn something. Nice fish.